So last week I built the BMW Z4 for a buddy of mine. I've built a couple cars from him in the past and I'm building up his collection one by one. And this week I figured it was time for another one of these cars that he had in the past. This time around it's a Seat Ibiza or Ibiza. Not really sure what it's called in English. In Dutch it's Ibiza. So nevertheless, it's time to look at the model itself. It's a dealer package model, comes in a specific blue color and needs to be repainted in white. Most of the other details like the interior are pretty much fine. So we just need to disassemble it, remove all of the plastic parts from the exterior, strip the paint and start the repainting and detailing process. So some of these logos are actually 3D emblems and they can easily be removed. It's okay, I got it, I got it. After gently removing the logos, I save them up and can glue them back on at a later stage. At this point in time, the body was stripped of all of the plastic parts, so it can be stripped of the paint as well. I'm using some Zero Paints paint stripper specifically for metal bodies. It is reused, so it does have a bit of a weird funky color, and afterwards it will be reused again on the next project. So once that was said and done, a couple minutes later, all the paint just pretty much fell off. You need to wash it off, of course, and there is a bit of paint in some of the panel lines that needs to be scribed out too. So I'm just gonna go over it with a small needle, removing and picking out all of that paint, and then start the rest of the prepping process. In order for the paint to properly stick to the body and also for some of the rougher body work that is done in the factories of these models, I need to sand down the entire body with a 400 grit sanding sponge. You can also just use regular sanding paper, but I kind of like these sanding sponges a lot better as it conforms to the shape really well. As you saw at the beginning of the video, the model is going to be painted in white, so I figured it is best to start off with a white primer. I'm using some primer from Tamiya, just thinning it down a little bit with some lacquer thinner until it flows through the airbrush nicely. I go for a milky consistency uh, as far as thickness goes for these paints when I want to airbrush them, so just keep adding some thinner until you're happy and the flow is right. I applied a couple coats of the white primer, waiting about five minutes in between each coat, and then afterwards I let it cure for about a half an hour to an hour before I started applying the color. So in the past I've done a couple replicas for other people for Volkswagens which needed to be white and most of them are a flat white and that is the Volkswagen Audi Candy White which is used in the Volkswagen Audi group all over and is pretty much the same identical color. So in this case with it being a plain white car it is that Candy White which I had. You can also just use a straight white which is really close as well. This might have a little bit of a creamy color to it but that's pretty much it. So over the white primer is white paint so it doesn't really show up all that well on video but it really is white paint so don't worry about it too much. I applied two coats as it covered really quickly with the primer color being pretty much the same color anyways so there wasn't really all that much covering that needs to be done. After applying the second coat of color, five minutes of curing time, I mixed up the 2k clear and started applying that also in two coats making it nice smooth and glossy. With two coats of clear applied, I let it sit and cure for about two days and then moved on to adding additional details like the rubbers around the windows. These were simply just brushed on with some flat black paint and a small brush as it was easy enough and a small enough detail for the brush strokes not to be that visible. Some of the grills in the front bumper also need to be painted black again. I took out an even smaller brush from Tamiya. This is one of their HG line 
that is the super detailed, super fine tools line they have, and then just brushed it carefully on both sides, and of course did the center one as well. I did add a little bit of thinner to the paint just to make it flow out a little better and remove some of those brush strokes. Uh, it does take a little more paint to cover, so you might need to go over it a second time if you do thin it down a little bit. Some other of these smaller details I like to add to these builds is add a bit of a permanent marker edge on all of the clear parts just to make it not look as toyish and also give it that simulated rubber look. Most of these parts have a small rubber bead around them uh, for weather protection and stuff like that and with this uh, permanent marker you can add that detail on really easily. Once that was dry, I moved on to gluing all of the parts back in, starting off with the clear parts using some Microscale Crystal Clear. This is a clear part glue, which does take a little bit to dry, but it is a really strong glue and also really easy to remove if you do mess it up. So it's a really safe way of gluing all these parts in. The interior on this build didn't need any changing whatsoever as it was fully stock and identical to the spec of my body's car so that could just be placed back in along with the chassis a screw and also a sort of puck needed to be put back in to hold it all together. The small Seat logo, which was lost for a brief period of time at the beginning of the video, was recovered as you would seen. I did add a small amount of glue on the trunk and then carefully put it back into the center position. With pretty much all of the parts glued back on, including the side mirrors, a small detail needed to be added on the rear bumper, some red reflectors. I just used some clear red paint and colored them in carefully. Also on the side, there were some indicators. These are clear, uh, so I just painted them with a little bit of silver just to replicate them. And once that was done, this build is finished. It's just a quick repaint and re-detail, and it simulates the car really nicely. I hope some of you guys enjoy these smaller projects just as much as I do. They are really easy, take just a couple of days to do, and are really satisfying as well. Of course, the regular uh, episodes of the normal builds will just keep continuing as they do every weekend. So up next, I will probably be getting back to one of those and maybe some other stuff in between. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.